All right, so we have a cool specimen here today, don't we, bud? Mm -hmm. What is it? It's an eastern glass lizard. He is super cool. And so we found this guy in our yard here. We live on a barrier island on Florida's uh, east coast. Uh, but these are native uh, throughout the southeast. We've seen them. Where else have we seen them, guys? Um, we've seen them in IOP. Yep, we've seen them in Charleston, coastal uh, South Carolina. Uh, we've seen them up in Georgia. Um, probably as a kid, I saw them camping. I have to. I mean, I, I remember these as a kid. I can't remember exactly where I've seen them, um, but throughout the southeast. Um, but we did find this one. We can hear the ocean right there. It's, it's a couple houses that way. So they live um, in a variety of habitats. Um, one thing that's interesting, I think, is that they're subterranean, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Reese, Reese kept this guy as a pet for a day or so. We're letting him go right now. Um, but we made him a little tank and looked it up and sure enough, they need some kind of substrate to dig in. So we put sand in there and he burrowed like a, yeah. I mean, literally like a, like an earthworm. He was underground the whole time. Yeah. Like he came out a couple times, but not much just to get water. So what are some of the things that, uh, differentiate this from a snake? They have external ear openings. They have movable eyelids and they, and snakes have a forked tongue. These guys have a different tongue. Yeah, they do. And I also believe these can um, lose their tail, just like a lizard can, um, if they need to, like for def as a defense mechanism. But he is super cool. You want to put him down on the ground, bud? Mm -hmm. Put him in the grass. Yeah, yeah put him like cool. right. Yeah, put him right over here. Right, right here, so right I, here, so I can so get a good can... picture of him. <clears throat> and they're real cool. They move kind of like a snake. I, I don't think they're quite as flexible as a snake. Oh, there he goes. Look at him burrow like that. He's just let him go. Let him go. He's right here. Wow, he just disappeared real quick, didn't he? There he is right there. What was probably put him in a safer spot, Slippy. Yeah, you might want to put him in a safer spot because uh, I don't want him to get stepped on right mm -hmm. here. Wow, well, he just disappeared on us, didn't he? No, he's right there. I see him. Here he is. Oh, he just disappeared. I'll tell you what, I'm going to help Reese get him. Maybe we'll put him on the driveway so we can get a better picture of him before we let him go um, where we found him. Okay, so that took a minute because we had to be real gentle with him and he can, he can really wind himself in the grass down here. Yeah, but can. let's put him on the edge of the driveway here so I can get a good picture of him for everybody and then we'll go ahead and let him go. We don't want to don't want to stress him out too much more. Put him right in the middle here, bud. That's where I found him, right in the middle of the driveway. He was crossing our driveway. He can decide where he wants to go. Yeah, look at him go. So I found him doing just, just this exact same thing right here. So we're gonna just let him go right where he was heading the other day. He's gonna be gone in a second here. There he is. Hi, Slippy. Hi, Slippy. Oh, he was happy. He likes that spot. All right, he was kind of fun to have as a pet, right? Mm -hmm. So what are some of the things they eat? Um, they eat... Oh, let's talk about that real quick. Um, they, their jaws cannot detach like a snake. That's another difference. So they have to eat smaller stuff. So what kind of stuff? Um, they eat smaller snakes, smaller lizards, and crickets and bugs like that. Yep, I think they'll even eat small eggs. I think they'll eat almost oh, yeah. anything they can... Fit in, in their mouth. That they can yeah. fit in their mouth. Just yeah. heard him right there. All right, that's cool. I'm glad that he got to go home. And we got to enjoy him for a little bit, hey? Mm -hmm. All right, if, if anyone has any questions or comments or any additional information about glass lizards that we uh, haven't shared here today, please post down below. Until next time, everybody out there, take care. Bye.